All right, guys, time to go back to school. Um, now we've come to the section of the entertainment where we're going to talk about a use case. When you skip the whole centralized exchange route in order for you as a new adopter to enter uh, the crypto world, when you, when you skip that whole route, more doors for adoption opens up that we didn't even consider before. You know, it's pretty insane that a, that a newcomer who wants to learn about crypto needs to go through that centralization route, risk their own money despite knowing nothing at all, right? So when you also remove all unnecessary obstacles for learning, like having to provide value ahead of play, even more doors open up. Imagine instead just getting a wallet, enter a website, and start the process of mining value right away. And while waiting for your sweet free plus gas sum, you get educated in first principles crypto right away from the very start. Just imagine all the schools, for example, now, what is the value of having all students mine SEM for free to play around with and learn about cryptocurrency and blockchain? The opportunity then is that it will also shape the next generation crypto adopters learning the sound principles rather than becoming short-sighted influencer experts, traders and getting wrecked while actually building their wealth at the same time and we will all benefit from each other's success so imagine this you have one class you have 30 kids and you break it down into five different lectures as i'm illustrating here right so lecture number one you go through with the kids, hey, this is how you create a wallet, right? It, it's pretty intuitive, like you, you, you tell them, we're, we're gonna create something of value here. Uh, the first thing to do is get a bucket where you can store this value, right? So you, you go through that whole thing and, and having them get a wallet each. Lecture number two, uh, you fill this up with some transactional value, right? So, so you help them to, to get some gas uh, in their wallets and, and you help them to, to, uh, to see the infrastructure of, let's say, Etherscan, where they can um, see everything that goes on in a blockchain. You integrate that somehow, I don't know. Lecture number three, you then you don't have your wallet, right? You have some gas. So then you go to faircrypto.org and then, or any other site, you know, it's a protocol. You can create your own interface here, uh, whatever. You then connect to the protocol and you choose your mint term. And you basically start explaining the concepts of delayed gratification, you know, that, that you, you're planting a seed here um, for something to come. You're, you're creating something and, and the value of having them do that individually is huge, right? It's like they're, they're really feeling the, the, uh, um, the interacting with a protocol here, you know, this, this, this should be gamified, this whole experience, by the way. Lecture number four, you go back uh, to the protocol and you mint. Uh, so you go through that whole process of value creation, you know, something they planted before, now they can go in and harvest that process at this time in this bucket, in this wallet that you created in lecture one with the gas that you did in lecture two. And then in lecture five, you say, okay, now you have some value. Um, what do we want to do with this? Well, we can either spend it on bubble gum or we can invest it. You know, we can 
we can further help grow this little plant we have now from this original seed and we can make it into a big tree. So, you know, you, you, you do all of these steps and you make it super simple and story-like with analogies, just like, you know, staking is like planting a seed. The longer you wait, the bigger the plant and so on and so forth. You know, basically, if, if you take this example, you know, you have 30 kids in a class, um, assuming it would cost $3 per transaction, uh, you would have three transactions per student, you know, claim your rank means stake. Uh, you would have 30 students. So it's three times three times 30. That's $270 in transaction fees for 30 kids. You know, like wh what is the, what is the value here? We, we can quantify the value. Would $270 for 30 kids be worth it? Think about it. You just thought 30 kids sell sovereignty by action. How a wallet work, how transactions work, how to interact with a protocol, how to delay gratification, have something to look forward to, you know, planting a seed, creating something. If you're a teacher out there listening to this, you should be really excited right now. You, you have the opportunity to become hero in these kids' life. Isn't this what school was supposed to be about? Prepare kids for the future. And what better way to do that than to teach them value creation, value storage by action. Listen, if, if we can teach kids this stuff, what do you think it's gonna do for adoption? If you can teach a 10 year old about crypto, you can teach anyone. That's adoption mindset. Remove the whole investing thing right away. Take, just remove it. It's difficult. And in fact, it's not necessary. You know, if you want to build something, what do you do? If you want to build a car, if you want to build a house, whatever, where do you start? You start when you're two years old and you play with Lego. So if you're a kid, I tell you, hey, here's a wallet, here's some crypto, play with it, learn, test, interact with the protocol, have fun. Don't risk your day job, son. Give them the Lego to play with and have fun and learn. So if we're serious about wanting crypto adoption, we have to give the kids the tools. If you're a teacher, do this right now. If you know a teacher, send them this right now. Tell them there's an opportunity of being a hero here. You know, document each step, make a five minute video, send that video to every teacher in the world. World domination, happy sovereign kids. You know, we all we all had this different experience from teacher. You know, you had. You had these teachers who really taught you this profound stuff that you're so grateful for today, that really helped you, teaching you some stuff that, that made you better prepared for the world. And then you also had this, these teachers who had 500 words per PowerPoint slide, which you still despise to this day. So choose which kind of teacher you want to be. But this is just like, this is an opportunity for you to be hero. And if you make this video, Jack will show it to hundreds of thousands of people. I'm sure he will. This, this, this whole use case was actually inspired by one amazing guy in the same community. I think it was from New Zealand and, and he, he had some indigenous kids and he, he came to us and said, Hey, I've been looking for something like this. This, this is great. This is exactly what I've been looking for. I really hope he will do it. He was a great guy. The thing is, guys, when we remove unnecessary barriers to learn, a whole new world opens up. And that's just one use case. So I want you to think about what other use cases can you think of when we now have a token that is free to mint? Let me know. Let me share. Share those ideas with, with, uh, with us, with the rest of the community. And uh, 
then just let's do it. Let's have fun with it. By the way, we could also do the same with Bitcoin, but we just have to buy half of Iceland first and become trillionaires. Um, anyway, let's move on.